Is atheism a belief? I'm often told by my uh, atheist friends, no, atheism is just a lack of a belief. Or as the late uh, atheist writer Christopher Hitchens uh, once famously said, he said, our belief is not a belief. You believe in a god. I don't. That lack of belief in any gods makes me an atheist. You'd think that'd be the end of it, but apparently some people find it really important that it be more. So, let's do this. <laughs> Greetings, fellow space travelers. Bionic Dance here. Today we're having a chat with a religious fellow named Andy Bannister. Insert stairway to heaven joke here. He's gotten it into his head that atheism is a belief which it isn't. Atheism and theism are polar opposites. Either belief in a god is present, or it isn't. These concepts are very simple. Anything else added to either definition is just extra baggage that doesn't belong. Well, with all due respect to my atheist friends who want to assert they don't believe anything and therefore don't have to defend it, I think that idea is wholly mistaken. Let's explore why by unpacking the idea that atheism is just the, the absence, just the lack of a belief in God. Well, if atheism is just a lack of belief in God, that leads to all kinds of strange conclusions. I mean, I can think of many things that lack a belief in God. Uh, rocks, rubber chickens, Richard Dawkins' left foot, Australia, the colour blue, all of those things lack a belief in God. Does that make them atheists? Why not? He just says it doesn't. But why not? No God belief is present. They're not theists. If I were to make a Venn diagram, there's one circle they're definitely not going to fit into. Even if you don't want to call them atheists, they're at the very least atheistic. Why? Because they don't believe in any gods. If atheist doesn't mean not a theist, if atheist doesn't encompass all which does not qualify as a god believer, then tell me which word does. So clearly, to be an atheist means more than just a lack of belief in God. No, it doesn't. And what he's about to list, the reasons he gives for this assertion, have nothing to do with what it means to be an atheist, but rather the reasons why someone might be. But the problems get even more profound. You see, the absence of anything can't cause something. If I take a hammer and I drop it on my foot, it will cause pain. But if I take a non-existent hammer and drop a non-existent hammer on my foot, it won't cause anything, because it doesn't exist. But atheism seems to cause all kinds of things. It causes sceptical people to write angry tweets at me on social media. Atheism caused Richard Dawkins to write a book on atheism that made millions of pounds and his bank manager very happy. And so the, the list goes on. So for a non-belief, atheism looks quite busy. It's not atheism which causes those things. It's religion. Without theists, especially the ones who use their beliefs to wreak all kinds of havoc in the world, atheists would probably never speak up. Or at least, not about atheism. I don't believe in the Loch Ness Monster either. But you know when it comes up at all in my world? When someone else mentions it. If theists could learn to share and play nicely with the other kids, I'd never mention religion. If I didn't feel the need to defend myself against the godfatherers, my YouTube channel would be dedicated to my animation work and not atheism. Like it or not, the things he just listed are religion's fault. I've met many people who say to me, hi, my name is whatever, I'm an atheist. Uh, I know many people on social media who write atheist or skeptic or free thinker in their social media profiles. The more enthusiastic put the flying spaghetti monster or some sort of secular icon there. But they self-identify around the label of atheism, which tells me it means far more than just the absence of a belief in God. But that's not the point of the term. Neither atheist nor theist are meant to describe what sort of believer or non-believer you are. It's like saying theist just means you're a Christian, and the other people who believe in any other god or gods don't qualify for the word. The fact is that atheism has a similarly large list of subsets being represented by it. There are strong atheists, weak atheists, explicit atheists, implicit atheists. There are those who don't believe because they're unfamiliar with the concept, like babies or those pygmy tribes they found in Africa who had never heard of the idea of a god. There are skeptics, there are apistivists who won't engage in religious-style faith, and there are those who insist they know there is no god. There are pastafarians who ironically worship the flying spaghetti monster as a parody of real religion. And many of these subsets overlap each other, just as, say, Protestants and Lutherans overlap Christianity. So to insist that the most prominent, vocal atheists are the only sort is rather blind. And to insist that the reason why someone might lack God belief determines whether they're an atheist seems to miss the point of the term. You lot who are theists, atheists aren't you. That's it. 
That's all the word means. Anything else is extra and requires an adjective for more pinpoint clarification. The real question is why theists insist on challenging this concept. It's almost as if they're attempting a straw man argument to tell people what their own position is, and they might not even realize they're doing it. This raises an interesting question, doesn't it? Has atheism not just become a belief system, but is it actually a religion for some people? Now, maybe you're watching this and thinking, atheism, a religion? Are you insane? Well, it depends how you define a religion. Oh, now he cares how we define a word, when it suits his purposes, apparently. A religion doesn't necessarily mean a belief in God. Most Buddhists don't believe in God. The academic description that's used in by many uh, anthropologists for what a religion is, is a system of thought that attempts to answer ultimate questions. Where did the universe come from? Is there a purpose to life? Why are we here? Uh, what's gone wrong with the world? What are human, how are human beings supposed to live? And I suggest my atheist friends have answers, or believe they do, to those questions. That seems a rather silly definition. Some of those important questions clearly come from quite secular contexts, or at least can do so. But let's look at this rationally. Suppose you can tag atheism with the label religion. What does that change, really? The number of gods believed in is still zero. Theism is still unsupported by facts, using faith instead, which is the cause of many atheists' absence of belief. Where does that really leave us that we weren't at before? And now, where do the non-believers who aren't vocal, explicit non-believers fit? What word do we use to call them? What word do we use to encompass all those who don't believe in gods for any reason and to any degree? More and more, this sounds like a defensive theist who holds a grudge than any kind of rational, reasoned argument. And then lastly, I think one of the signs that something is a real, active belief is other things accumulate alongside it. So, for example, I'm a Christian, and because I'm a Christian, I believe certain things about justice, I believe certain things about truth, certain things about philosophy that, that follow from my Christian faith. And likewise, many of my atheist friends believe certain things about science. They believe that we're just atoms and particles, that there's no purpose built into the universe, that we're just the result of time plus chance plus natural selection. Most of my atheist friends are materialists, to give that worldview its proper name. And the very fact that atheism attracts these other beliefs tells me, again, it is a belief. The problem here is twofold. I already covered the first problem, that being that there's more than one kind and different levels of intensity of atheism. But the second is that this is backward. Many of those bits and pieces he listed don't come with atheism. They're often the reason for atheism. People examine the world around them, and, unlike most theists, run a test or two to verify those observations, come to certain conclusions, and then, looking at the claims of theism which are supported by no similarly testable facts, reject faith in favor of empirical reality. Atheism doesn't have science as its dogma, nor is every atheist so because of science. Now, I say this not to belittle you, if you're an atheist watching this, but to challenge you to realize you do have beliefs. There's no such thing as a human being without faith. All of us believe something. What I see here is part of the communication problem between atheists and theists, that there's a blind spot for theists to understand the atheist paradigm. You see, theism comes with allegiance, a lifestyle, instructions, dogma, identity. Atheism does not. This is why atheism is described as a lack of belief, why it's not a religion. My absence of God belief dictates nothing about my life. There are just certain things I don't do because they lack any purpose or meaning for me. I'm not even instructed to not do them by atheism because, as I said, there's no dogma, no commandments. Atheism is not an identity, and if I do indeed have beliefs, they are not necessarily tied to my absence of belief in God. They might be allowed by it because I'm not forced to follow religious doctrine, but even that is passive. I'm hardly doing those things in the name of atheism the way some things are done for the will of or in worship to one's God. So even if he wants to call atheism a religion, it's clearly of a radically different type than his, and any comparison would show next to no similarity, making the designation rather irrelevant. If you're messing around with the claim that atheism really isn't a belief system, I suggest it's really because you haven't dared to put it to the test and see if it stands up. Why don't you stop playing, being infantile, step into the adult world, and examine properly what you believe, what others believe, and see whether what you believe stands up. This guy believes in magical sky spirits, angels, and bringing people back from the dead. But he thinks we're the ones who need to step into the adult world. Oh, the irony. Until next time, fellow space travelers, this is Bionic Dance saying don't run on automatic. Instead, please, think.
Not rating and subscribing has been found to cause obesity, acne, and male pattern baldness in laboratory rats. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Don't let this happen to you. Be sure to rate and subscribe.